Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. And here I am with another great, great tutorial. On this video, I will show you how you can add padding on this bench seat. It's at a fiberglass, so I cannot do a hole, I cannot put a staple. I will add padding, I will cut the material, I will sew it, then I will put the cover on. I am not going to show you 100% the whole process, but I will give you a big idea. I will show you how you can do the back section of this seat. Why the back section or the backrest? Well, because it is hardest than the bottom cushion. That's what I will show you the hardest part. So it's at a fiberglass and you can see it. First thing first, uh, the pink phone that I see in your screen is a half inch thickness and I'm going to put it right there to fill in that um, uneven area. See, I am putting a glue and same thing right here. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to do it. You will learn a lot about upholstery. And don't forget to smash that like button. I am putting glue right here. It is way easier to have a, a glue gun or pneumatic gun, pneumatic gun. I am putting right there, filling that an even area. Because on top of that will be a one inch, three and a half pound of density. Then on top of that one would be another half inch. So I have to make sure to put this area even. You can use an, a knife. Look, at, I am using and doing manually, but I will use this. This is way easier and faster. Make you so efficient. It is around $300. This is nap on tool. And you can see how easy it is with this tool. And same thing right here. So I got that area even. So what is next? I'm going to make like a pattern to cut the phone. I don't want to waste too much phone. That's what I'm going to make like a pattern. You can see that is a leftover vinyl. I just glue them on there. Then I start tracing around those uh, edges on the top area. Then on the bottom, same thing. Put a mark on the center. That way I don't, I don't uh, get confused when I'm going to glue that font in there. So I got the bottoms. And then I just cut the top. I draw in the top too. It is not necessary to draw in the top. Just get a knife, a utility knife and cut it. I cut the top, you can see it. Then I get a scissor and cut it on the bottom. Simple as that. Any leftover material that you have, you can use plastic. You can use a uh, fabric, you can use a vinyl, as I am doing it. And then I had the pattern on there. I'm going to put a mark on the center. Same thing on the bottom. Then I start ungl ungluing this vinyl. There you go. What is next? Three pound of density, one inch found. Three pound of density. I layer that pattern on top of the phone. Drawing all around, and I will do the same with the half inch. But I'm not going to show you the half inch because I am showing you this part. Then I get the the knife and start cutting all around, faster and easier with the tool. Right there. Then I put glue on here. I put a lot of glue. Remember, remember, this is at a fiberglass, so I cannot put a staple on it. So, um, just the cover will be just with glue. Get the phone and I start glue and put them on there. So simple and easy, right? So far, so good. So then, I will get the half inch and do the same thing. I put glue already. I didn't show you that part. I, I thought it is not necessary because you see me putting glue on the one inch thickness phone and then you just see me layer the other half inch on top. Like stay with glue and then cutting around that edge. You can see him on there. Just cut it around. See, I got the backrest. You saw how easy it is? Okay, 
in case you didn't cut them straight, you can get a, a sander and sander. Right here, I am making a pattern for the bottom cushion. Same thing. I will cut a piece of wood, half inch thickness wood, because it have a base, I'm going to use a half inch. In case if it didn't have a base, I have to use a three quarter of an inch thickness wood. I lay it down the pattern, then I start tracing around. I will varnish that wood. I will make some hole in there, that way, uh, when the customer seat will have a space to breathe and things like that. Then I cut, I use the jigsaw and cut it. Slowly but surely right there. I got that part. Baron cushion. I didn't show you I didn't show you how to varnish, but it's simple. Just get the varnish, get a brush and put one one time, at least twice each side. Then I get a one inch thickness for uh, fun and glue them into that wood. And then I will cut it. On the front, I will give you a half inch uh, extra. Then I will cut it exactly all around. Okay, half one inch, right? Then I draw in a line because I will make a bump right there. I just cut it a small piece of a pink phone, half inch. And I will glue it into that area right there. Then I will taper a little bit. Just that part. Then I get, I sand it a little bit. I If you have been watching my videos in this channel, in my Spanish channel, I have like four or uh, five grinder, especially for phone and wood and metal. And now you see me using a block right there, sanding by hand. Sometimes when it's small, I prefer doing by hand. I get another layer of half inch and I put them on top to make a little bit higher that area. That way it's not flat. Then I cut it. Sand a little bit. And then I had the front and the back seat. I will concentrate them on this video, the back rest of this bench seat, because it is harder than all of them, all of the rest of the pieces. That's what I will show you this part. I am pretty sure by watching me doing the back rest, you will figure out how to make the bottom cushion because it is easier. So first thing first, I'm going to uh, divide this bench seat by two, put a line on the center. And then I will create like a um, 10 inch uh, right there between one line to another one is 10 inch. Can be eight, can be, if it is 12, it is too big. I will add some plates in there and you will see it. So right here, I divided this part in two because you will see it. I make a special design for this. See the cheat board that I have? I have that design on there. I had that pattern on there. You can see it. That's the design that is going to be there. I didn't show you how to make that part. I didn't show you. Or maybe later I will make a short video just about that part. Just about that uh, pattern. So I put them on there. And remember, the bottom cushion uh, line has to line up with the backrest line. Has, they have to line up, no matter what. So better, um, when you draw in those lines, make sure to all of them match. Then I start uh, making that like a diamond. And you can see a diamond in there. Same thing on this side. Same thing, divide up. 
left side on two, put those marking there. There it is. You see a black piece of phone on the table? That was pink and I painted them on black. Why do I paint it? Because I am going to make the cover out of suede. And that suede, it have a hole. And I don't want to show the pink phone through those holes. So that's what I painted. And I layer the pedem on top. You might be asking, this bench seat belong to a boat. Why are you putting suede? If you are asking that question, that is a excellent question because both seats should be at a marine vinyl, at a marine material. But the customer wants sway on this racing boat. And I ask him, why do you want sway? It doesn't make sense. He say it is just for a show. He gonna keep it indoor. He not gonna take it to the uh, lake or to the ocean, nothing at all. It doesn't make sense to me, put sway in a boat seat, but that's what he want. And sometimes you try to explain it to the customer, no matter how much time you spend explaining it to them, they don't accept your explanation. They just say, do it this way, and that's the way I want it, and blah, 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 blah. And here I am doing like that way the customer wanted. Uh, the thread that I am using it is a Y and it is a 210 thickness thread. 210, so it's so notable right there. Any mistake, uh, can see it from far away. You see my sewing. And same thing right here. And there it is, that part. So. That insert, I will use the chipboard pellet to cut it. But right here, I don't want to waste too my suede material. So I will make like a pattern or template to cut uh, the suede. And I am putting some mark in there. Very important, very important, guy, to put a mark, especially when the seat or where the backrest is not straight. Very important. I am using a leftover vinyl. I am putting a, a small fraction of glue, then I glue it, then I start designing right there, drawing that line exactly on top of the uh, blue line that is on the pink phone. You can see them on there, so simple. I got the part. And always make sure left side of the, of the seat or backrest is it's the same side on the other side. On this one, one side is smaller than the other one. So I am using the, uh, the big side because later on I will taper, I will cut it. I will adjust the other side, the other piece. And I start drawing in there, same thing. I will put a, a two stitch in there. So I got that piece too. Right now I'm just marking, later on I will cut it. Same thing right here. I put a gray vinyl on top, I put a glue on it, just enough to hold it until I trace it exactly where the blue line is. I am okay. You can draw from behind like I did, or you can draw right here from the front. It is easier from behind because it is exactly where the phone ends. Same thing right here. You can see I am drawing right there from outside. But the top area of this piece, I can do it from behind. Mark it from behind. Whatever you feel comfortable. So I cut the face already and then I start uh, cutting the, the band. You see I am drawing from behind. See? There are two different ways that you can draw. You can draw for the top. Got it right there. Then I go for the top piece, it's a long piece. I lay it down and I start putting those marks. Same thing right here. 
from behind. And then as right here, because the left and right side are not the same, so I have to uh, mark a separator. So I got the front, then I got the top already. But right here will be a piece of three inches, uh, three inches width. And I am gluing that binom in there. I will clean it later. If you see me putting glue in there, but I will clean it later. So I got, I got the material in there. You can draw it like this from outside, or you can draw it from inside like this. It's easier this way. In this case, it is easier this way. And don't forget to put all those marks. Don't forget. Right there. See, I'm putting those marks. That would be a notches. The purpose of those one it is just uh, to uh, when I am sewing all those pieces together, uh, they have to match, line up. Very important. Right here, the same. So, I'll trim in a little bit. Then I got a board. Look, pay attention to this thing. Okay, maybe right now it is hard for you to see it, but I will show you in a moment. See right there. I bend the board, and you can see it. There we go. That is all around. Then I start cutting. I am giving one inch extra on the bottom because I will fall in there. And then on the top, I just give you a half inch for the seam allowance. See, half inch. This is just a pattern to cut the new pieces. That way I don't waste the sway. Will be in three different material, perforated sway, and then a, a gray sway, and then a, it's like a charcoal. It's not black, black, that other. Sway, and I am making all those marks. You can see it. Okay, I got it. Got one piece, and I will do the same with all the other pieces that you see me tracing. Right here, I just will give you a half pinch all around for the seam allowing. And same thing, I put a mark, so I made this notch. This is the face, part of the face, small piece. Same thing right here. And cutting. So simple, so easy. This is so important to make a, a nice pattern. Because if you don't uh, draw, uh, trace it good, if we, uh, if you cut around this piece, a hundred percent chance that the other piece is gonna be wrong. The one boy you're making out of this or cut out of this. So I got all those pieces. So this is the sway, the black sway. I am going to add a layer of a quarter of an inch point of headliner material. Quarter of an inch. I am putting glue on both sides. Then I glue. And there it is. Quarter of an inch point of headliner material. All the face, bottom cushion, and backrest will have a half inch thickness point half in thickness font all the face bottom and back rest cushion all the rest will have a quarter of an inch font and there i have half in thickness font and there it is then i put those pieces of vinyl on top and you can see it i already trace it 
because are to left, left and right. I just fold the same thing with the other piece. And you're going to do this with all the face pieces. And after that, you will cut it. Uh, there it is, as you can see me cutting. I didn't show you how you can cut all those pieces on phone, but you saw me tracing at a vinyl. Then I give you an idea, how do I layer those pieces on top of the sway? I cut them already. I cut them all of those pieces. I didn't show you that part, but you saw, uh, you see, saw me uh, making a pattern. Then I bring to the double needle NC post machine. So easy with this machine. This is a post, post machine. You can see him on there. I am going to put a stitch on top of that yellow mark. After this, I will cut that phone that is on my right side, on the right side of that stitch. And then I cut and you can see, I want that area clean because I will glue that part to the uh, fiberglass. That's what I, I don't need to have extra half paint fun in there. Okay, then I will put a stitch all around, all around those pieces. All those pieces that are having a half inch thickness fun, I will put a stitch. The one where you have a quarter of an inch, I am not going to put a stitch on those ones. So after I done sewing all those uh, pieces around, I, I'm going to start uh, putting together. Here, if when the all those notches has to match. I know it is hard for you to see if those notches are exactly one on top of the other one, but they are. I don't need that extra material in there. And right here, I just put a stitch. And um, I forgot to cut the half inch in there. All these pieces belong to the face of the backrest. It's the hardest one. The bottom cushion, it is way easier compared to this one. I am showing you the hardest one. So just get that piece and sew in uh, the insert. Then I get the other side and it's the same thing. Basically it's the same thing. Sexy left and right. This is the top piece. The top piece it is on three pieces. I just put it together to make one. Then I go into sewing this piece all around. that piece. I'm going to make the stitch as small as possible because I will put a frame seam on here and I will go sewing. And you can see, I don't know if you can notice those notches, those mar are matching. Very, very important right here. Very important. And when you are sewing the other piece, the, all those notches has to match too. Because otherwise it will look weird. So I will take it to the double needle machine to put a frame seam. 
with a 210 uh, thread and it's way easier with this one way easier I cut right there then I trim it on the bottom because I don't want the pump to be so high that's what I, you see me doing that Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't do it. And there it is, that French seam in there. And I take it to the regular sewing machine and I start uh, sewing the back uh, section. Three inch width. I, put, I will put a stitch on top of the uh, yellow line because I will fold it and I want it to be easier to fold. Okay. I made some split in there and I will put a stitch like this. I can put a banding all around that area too, a nice uh, banding, but uh, it has to be out of sway. The customer want, don't want nothing else, only sway. So I prefer to do it this way. I cut it close to the stitch and then I will start sewing the last piece of this back rest. This is the last piece. Sewing the last piece in there taking a half inch with the stitch okay I put a frame seam on that last piece too I didn't show you then uh, it is out of suede no matter what I have to put plastic if it is out of vinyl I will put plastic too because it is a belong to a boat. I put a lot of glue on the bottom and then I just put glue on where the stitches are like a, uh, like a diamond right there and then those stitches have to be exactly on top of those marks on the pink phone. In case if those stitches are not exactly on top of those line on the pink phone, the backrest cover it's not going to line up with the bottom cushion. So make sure that part. Make sure spend some time. If it doesn't line up, and glue it and glue it back. You can see it right there. And you can see the cover. I will apply a steamer later on. So we'll put some snap. The customer one uh he don't want uh, too many holes in there so the cover it has to fit perfectly I will put one snap in there it has to be like two and a half inch deep put a mark there's one and same thing right here if you don't see I already divided I already put a mark in there it's hard for you to see I'm going to use those black uh, snap and I'm going to use that snap machine for that. Put one and like that we'll put two six total. Six is more than enough to hold that cover.
then one more right here and there it is just trim it nice right here I will put a black um, it's like a marine tint in there to cover that part that's easier so I show you the hard part and same thing with the bottom cushion make a pattern I use that pattern to cut this, the material like I did see make a pattern and same thing right here then I take it to the sewing machine and start sewing all those pieces like I did on the uh, backrest cover making sure all those lines match and then I'm mounting that bottom cushion at the end I apply a steamer because I see some a small light ring coming there very tiny small and with the steamer is not a problem that will come out and I will show you later you can see them on there put them on the sun to get dry and there it is there it is there and there is the front uh, cushion it's easier than the back rest because they are small and not that too many pieces there is a bump in there you can see the French stitch look weird in there but it is because it is a bump and that bump go all the way across but other than that everything looks beautiful and there is the back rest bench seat Again, it is at a sway. <laughs> I don't like sway, sway in a boat or jet. I don't like it at all. And I explain it to the customer. But sometimes the customer are listen to you and sometimes they don't listen to you. And I understand he say this it is just for uh, keeping indoor for a show. And if it is that way, well, I did. And here it is. Hey, my friend, on this video, I give you a big idea how you can make a cover for this uh, backrest paint seat. And you saw me preparing the phone. You saw me making a pattern template. And you saw me doing that. Then you see me cutting the material. And there it is. The purpose of this channel, it is to give you an idea, trying to, uh, trying to teach you for those who barely start uh, working on these trays. You will see a lot of different things on this trade that you might think it is impossible, especially if you barely start working on this trade. Nothing is impossible, my friend. Nothing at all. All it is just a practice. Just a practice. A practice. That's all. Uh, if you practice it, if you never uh, done something, you, you do the first thing. Don't expect for something perfect at the first time. Second time, not either. Third time four times then you will start getting experience and then you will start doing a beautiful job and then you will say oh that guy Mecca he was right when he say practice it make you get better practice it make you get experience with practice you will get an expert so thank you so much for watching this video see you uh, later on the next video guys